Hey, Gents, Scheme Rhythm here, giving new meaning to the phrase egg on your face. So if you remember last time I went ahead and tried to get egg on my face, well, I actually succeeded, and my character started scratching as soon as I started up the game, so I decided to just wait. So, yeah. Egg Vermifuge basically just heals Egghead. Oh, hello. What is it that you need? And now, this guy sells, in addition to the Servant roster, he also sells Poison Mist and Toxic Mist, which are very useful items. And I'll be picking those up eventually, because they help with a certain enemy that I really hate fighting later on. But, um, right now, I have no real use for them, so. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the egg vermifuge because these eggs actually um, decrease the amount of souls you can get per kill. There we go. It also unequips your uh, helm. I wonder. It's not too bad. It doesn't look that different. I'm a flipping away. I'm a flipping. Wait, 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 wait. What, what am I doing? I need to go back here. Alright, so without further ado and without further delay, I think I'm going to warp, shit, I should have checked on my items first before I even brought up the warp sign, um, yeah, warp to Firelink Shrine, and uh, I will meet you guys there. And we're back. So, so, the reason I warped to Firelink Shrine is I want to take care of a few things. One th other thing, really. And I don't need to go that way for it. Jeez. Because <sighs> we're actually about to go and tackle a boss fight soon. Or, well, not really a boss fight. It's a little... Got a little while to go before we handle a boss fight, but... <laughs> Remember when these guys took more than one hit to kill? You know what, actually, because I have the time to, I really want to see what it looks like whenever I use... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Claw. Because I went ahead and picked this up out of impulse, but I, didn't, I don't know if I'm really going to need it or not. And I don't think I will. Okay, by default it kills them in two hits. Ooh! Punt, that's pretty brutal. I like it. I might be upgrading that later on. But anyway, back to the uh, Black Knight stuff. Actually, I'm curious. I wonder if I can still flip even if I have the Dragon Slayer Spear. Yes! I am happy. I am very, very happy. Happy as I. I'm a doing front flips. I'm a cartwheeling. All right. Geez, I don't think I ever talked to her in this file. I did not. Crap. So much for that. I was gonna buy the transient cursors, but then again, I don't think that you really you can I think you pick some up before you uh go into New Londo Ruins anyway. So that's not a problem. But let's see, that's what, 24 humanity now? I'm just gonna hang on to that. I don't think I'm gonna summon um help for the boss. Because for one thing, I have to survive to get to the boss if I go for help. But I guess one last... I know I said I was done delaying, but there's like one other thing I want to show before actually heading down. Because once I head down and start, then... I mean, that's it. 
Okay. Alright, of course, just run and jump across. Careful not to fall off the ledge here, and look where this guy is. Hi, Shemai. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> Alright, sells gold pine resin, he sells a master key as well, which you have no reason to buy if you started with one. Still sells the crystal swords and arrows, which is good, I guess. And he also sells his armor set, this armor set of the giant golem, iron golem, from Sin's Fortress. And either Ornstein's armor or small armor, depending on who you beat second. And he also sells some other boss's equipment later on. Well, that is a shame then. But no matter. No, not to worry. Come back again. I'm always available. Not every trade was meant to be. There'll be more in store for us. Someday. Sometime. Jesus, he talks a lot. Anyway. Do do do. Walk, 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 walk. Okay, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, I'm done delaying now. I like the dark wood green ring because it lets me put on any ring that I really want to put on and, you know, actually stay safe, I guess, is what I'm looking for. I don't, I mean, it's not like a Vell's ring where it gives you that really nice 50% boost, but sometimes that 50% might not be enough because you have to get below 25% to, uh, move normally, move at your quickest normally, but with the Darkwood Grain Ring, you can just, you know, move normally at 50% or lower. I mean, if you combine that with the Vels, you could, you could, you know, get up to like 45 and still be good. If you're going down to this, to New Londa Ruins, you want to have beaten the Great Grey Wolf Sith first, because you need the Covenant of Artorius Ring to, uh, be able to get to the boss and not just die immediately. Let me see. I actually want to check something. And eh, I'll worry about it later. I was going to check and see how heavy how much heavier I would be if I had switched out for a full Havel's gear, which is probably what I'm gonna do for the boss, because Four Kings is a boss that I've never beaten the normal way. I mean, I've only beaten them one at a time, and that was in my first file. The first time, my first time through the game. And I didn't really, like, cheese them in any way. I just kind of, uh... Well, I did cheese them. I did Iron Flesh and Havel's Armor, and rushed at them with a two-handed Black Knight Greatsword. <laughs> Plus five. Well, this is on you. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't pry. I'm Rickett with Vin Iron. I was once an established smith. No. Look at me now. Can you believe it? Sure. Give me a second, guys. Alright, I'm good now. Hmm? What is it? What is it? Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. I've no intention of escape. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, I've not much to occupy myself. How about this? I could forge your weapons, albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show you what made me the best in the night. Alright. So this is the other, one of the other blacksmiths in the game. He can create magic weapons. And uh, he's also good for reinforcement. Do I even have anything I can reinforce aside from the crystal halberd? No. Alright. And he can also repair your equipment, which I guess I'm going to go ahead and do, even though I probably don't need it, but, you know, you never know. Alright. Goodbye, then. Keep your head on. You really help break the monotony. Actually, he can also sell stuff. I didn't really show that, so... Ah, what weapons have you brought? Go on, show me. Yeah, he also sells heavy soul arrow, soul arrow, and the sorcerer's catalyst. Come back soon. Smithing helps soothe my nerves. Don't let me wither away out of idleness. Yeah. 
I usually do actually because there's like one ember that you can give to him that I just realized that I haven't gotten in this file. Crap. <laughs> oh well. I'll go get it eventually. Off screen. You give him the enchanted ember and he can create enchanted. The enchanted ember and the large magic ember are the ones that you give to him. Okay, come on. Alright. Alright. There we go. Anyway, so, uh, Transient Curse, you need these. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and equip them on top of the Poison Moss, Purple Moss Clump, because you don't really need that in this area. You do, however, need this. And I'm keeping a, uh, the Dragon Slayer Spear out for a very specific reason. Because even though my Black Knight sword is stronger, this weapon does let me attack with my shield up, which is what I really want to have right now. Because you see, these ghosts, normally they can just go straight through your attacks and crap. I better not get killed here. Okay. Normally they can just go straight through your defenses. Kind of like they're doing to me right now, except because I'm, it's just because I'm playing badly. And I believe it lasts for a good, like, five minutes or so, or something like that. Either that or it's only, like, two minutes, but... Two minutes, if you really just sit down and count out two minutes, can last a lot longer than you think. So, I don't know. Pretty sure it's not actually two minutes, though. Alright. It's a very thin pathway here that the camera likes to try and screw you out of. I try to be very careful on this. Firekeep for soul. Speaking of which, I never got the other one from Blight Town. Oh well. Shit! Camera. It's the camera's fault. You saw that. The camera just decided to randomly go to the right like that and of course if you're pushing forward it's gonna make your character turn right and it's like what the hell what was that for that's not really I don't know I don't want to say it's unfair but anyway I will meet you guys back over there did I ever mention how creepy this place is cause it's pretty fucking creepy it's another reason I'm using Ornstein Spear is that it's got really really nice reach so I don't have to worry as much about them being too far away when they start that stupid range attack that they have. Also, I went off screen and got the other Firekeeper Soul. So I am at where I should be for Firekeeper Souls for if I've done all the enforcement I could possibly do at this point at plus three. I'm really hoping one of them will drop something that will let me keep fighting these bastards without, you know, actually worrying them. Yeah, let's see. If you go into this room, a bunch of them will like to uh, jump you. So what I like to do is I like to back up, and they aren't the same as other enemies. Like, they don't have the pesky walls limit us thing. They can face through walls. They're ghosts after all. But it's nice to, uh, I mean, the further back that you go, you have to figure they still have to uh, back up to be able to hit you. Or they still have to go towards you. And so they start to kind of funnel in together. So... The nice thing about New Londa Ruins is you get lots of little things like this. There's a ghost in the wall. Just waiting to jump you if you go for that parrying dagger. 
Which, oh my god, it's so it sucks so much to get surprise attacked by that. Every so often you gotta like check around you to make sure they're not like rising up right around the corner from you. This is a banshee by the way. I've never let them finish their scream. I just know that I probably don't want to let them finish their scream. So, more transient curses you got off of that. New Londo ruins, man. New Londo ruins. Across the door. All right. Now, in this area, there are a bunch of them up above, and there's one up above there. To get past it, you just run straight through. And then there are a bunch of them down here below on this. Oh, oh wait. I didn't know that this one uh, came towards you. Come on. This is bad. There, there, there. Okay. Go down the ladder. Do, 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 do. You can cross over across these narrow beams, but there's no point because there's no item there. I don't remember if there's an item over here or not. There is not. But the point behind doing this is there are some ghosts here that you want to fight. So you could just run straight through all these guys, but they have a chance of dropping cursed daggers, cursed swords, and transient curses. And you might notice that one of those is kind of vital to getting through this area. I mean, unless you want to come through here actually curse with half of your HP. I mean, as one guy put it, especially post uh, pre-patch, going through New Londo ruins, cursed, just to break the curse, because there's a guy here who sells, uh, who uh, will fix your curse for cheap. Makes a real man out of you. And I think I might have... I don't know if I missed one or not, so I'm just going to run just in case. Alright. So, um... Yep. I think that's enough for one episode. So, uh... Next episode of Let's Play Dark Souls, we will progress even further through New Londo Ruins. I'll see you guys then. Take care.